Hey guys, so it's been a while since I have updated you all on my everyday makeup routine so that is what I wanted to do for you today. I have a load of products that I absolutely adore and these are just getting me through summer. Like this is my perfect summer makeup that I feel put together, um, ready to go to work every day and yeah. So it's a good little routine that I've got set down and I just wanted to share it with you guys so I really hope you all enjoy the video. So at the moment I'm keeping all of my makeup just in this little glossier pouch. This just makes everything super quick in the morning. I have got a little box full of makeup here but um, this is what I try and do to make sure that I am quick in the morning with my makeup. Um, so I literally just empty it all out on the bed. And I forgot to wash my brushes last night and they are in desperate need of a wash so please do not judge the state of my brushes. England has been having a little bit of a heat wave at the moment so the thought of wearing thick foundation or like too much foundation just isn't a nice thought at the moment and also I'm constantly wearing sunglasses or glasses all the time and my nose in particular for some reason gets very sweaty and my glasses tend to slip off my nose so I don't put any foundation really on my nose at the moment um, it's also super dry at the moment and I don't know what's wrong with my nose so so my foundation of choice these days has been the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream this has Factor 50 inside it um, so I feel a lot more comfortable wearing this rather than something else um, and fingers crossed and touch wood I haven't been burnt just yet so to apply that I also use the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush and I literally put the tiniest pump, like the tiniest pump of this on there so I am hardly wearing anything on my skin at the moment and I put a little blob on my cheeks and my forehead and then I just sort of work my way around just covering up any like redness or little spots that I have and then I steer completely away from my nose at the moment just because it's been really really dry and it just looks horrible if I put anything on it. Next up I do a bit of concealing underneath my eyes and sort of like in between my eyebrows which is where I get a little bit of redness um, so I tend to put a tiny bit of that on. My nose is quite red but I just can't touch it and put any product on it which is super annoying. Sometimes I put a little bit around like the edges of my nose um, and then just blend that in with the same brush, which I've lost. How am I losing everything? What? It's behind me. And then I blend in a little bit with the other end of the brush. Sometimes I use the big end of the brush if I'm really in a rush, but if I have a little bit more time, I will... <laughs> if I don't have as much time, I will use the big end of the brush. I've just been loving Supernatural look recently because I quite like when I get a little bit hot and sweaty it seems to just make my foundation and everything glow. Put a tiny bit of the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder on, I just put it where I get shiny, um, just on my cheeks a tiny bit, underneath my eyes. Then my favourite bronzer, the Bahama Mama bronzer from the balm. This stuff just red. And I just pop it on my cheeks. I like to put quite a lot of this on. And then I'll also take it across my forehead and down my neck. Okie dokie. The next step is blush and I'm using the Too Faced Love Flush love hangover blush um, I don't know how long I've had this little mini thing for but I just am obsessed with it it's just so pigmented and such a lovely colour on the cheeks I'm just obsessed with it they still do it I think so I can try and find a link for you guys down below so I like to put quite a lot of blush on <laughs> I just feel like it goes well with the redhead look having nice blushing cheeks. If we can't tan, let's just blush. 
and it looks a little less dramatic once I've put eye makeup on. I also take the blush like through my eyebrows like this, it just helps tie. The camera just cut out, it ran out of battery, but I think I did finish talking about blush. If I didn't, um, I love blush <laughs> and I like to put it like slightly through my eyebrows like that, just to tie it all together. And then just using the same blush brush, I take the Mary Lou highlighter from the balm and I just put a load of this on. I just like to swipe a load of it all over my face. On my nose. This is the only thing I actually put on my nose. Cupid's bow, centre of the eye. Then we can move on to brows and I'm using the browsings brow powder in the shade 3 today. I tend to tint my eyebrows quite a lot but at the moment the tint has pretty much all come out of them um, so my brows look a little more natural which I like so I'm just going to keep them natural for now. I feel like this shade is a tiny bit darker than my actual eyebrow which I quite like. It looks I just like the overall effect, it looks quite pretty. So I tend to start on the outside of my brows these days, or I start underneath and create a line, and then I'll just fill in the rest. I try not to put too much in the centre, literally just flick it up ever so slightly. And then my favourite brow setter at the moment, and then my favourite product to set my brows is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I've been loving this recently. It really is like a proper like gel that just makes your hair stick in place. For the eyes I've been using the Balm Nude Beach Palette and the first shade I take every morning is Babe down here. It's just like a little shimmery, whoop, peachy shimmery shade and I just pop this all over my eyelid. And then I take Bold, which is this really nice matte lightish brown and I just put this on the outer corner of my eyelid. I just put it really roughly there first and then I go in and blend it out. I just think it's such a nice shade, it really matches my bronzer shade quite well so it just all ties everything in nicely and then I'll just blend that away. Instead of eyeliner I'm using the shade Brazen and this little tiny brush um, and I just put this as close as I can to my lash line and then I go in and smoke it out. For mascara I've been going between these two, I've been trying out the Hourglass um, Caution Ultra Black Mascara and then like my constant favourite is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So today I think I'm going to use the Caution Hourglass one because I haven't used this in a video yet so you guys can see what it looks like. And I haven't really been curling my lashes at the moment because um, I just can't be asked. <laughs> So I like to look down into a mirror and just really get right to the roots when I do my mascara. When I get to the outer corner I like to sort of pull my lashes out to the side so that it creates like a winged out effect. I think it looks really pretty. It is a little tricky to use this mascara on the bottom eyelashes because it's so intense and it likes to clump quite a bit. For lips, I keep it super easy. I just use GlossierBalm.com in the rose scent. And I put this on first. I love this stuff. And then I try and make sure I don't have any like foundation or anything on my lips that's going to dry them out. And then at the moment, I've just been using this little Body Shop lip liner. It doesn't say the shade on it, I don't think, which is annoying. No? doesn't <laughs> but it's just a really simple nude shade and I just do the outline really and then blur it into my lips
and that is it that is my everyday very natural summer makeup routine that I do every morning before I go off to my internship really hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you use any of the products that I have used and if you have tried out the new caution hourglass mascara let me know let me know let me know what you think I like it but I think it's very clumpy sometimes and it's just a bit takes me a long time to finish it <laughs> like finish doing my eyelashes how I want them compared to like my other mascaras um, but yeah it's still a really nice mascara I do really like it I like the overall effect it gives I hope you're all having a lovely summer let me know what you're up to and yeah I will see you guys all in my next video bye